now Denise is going to talk to us for about oh, 10, 15 minutes. Not like 10 minutes. What are you going to talk about? Well, <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, oh, I need helpers. Can you, Trish, can you, Trish and Kevin, can you pass, give everybody a sticky note, just one sticky note. One. One. One sticky note. So, we have had just an unbelievable morning. And, um, man, we've gotten our money's worth. I really, it's just been absolutely unbelievable. And Heather, you know, I can't wait to hear more from you. Um, chances are, if you've taken the time to be here this Saturday, you're here not just because you like to take the product. Right? You're here because you actually want to take the next step in creating a life that you love and to go out there and make a difference in the world. And all of us, in our own little way, are doing that. And some of you, this is your first meeting, and you're coming to kind of check it out, see who all these crazy people are. Some of you, this is maybe your 20th Super Saturday. You know, we've been doing this every single month for about four years now. And I'm telling you, I've heard Ben talk probably 30 different times. Every single time I hear him speak, I have an aha moment. And thanks, you guys. So I was, uh, I just... I just got back from uh, California. I was, I'm doing this Martha Beck life coaching program. And it was because I started doing it back in March because um, I coach a lot of people over the phone and, and in person in Longevity to help them further their business, further their lives. And I just felt like I needed more tools. And so I signed up for this coach and sort of the culmination of this was getting to meet Martha Beck in California last weekend, and uh, Martha Beck is one of, she's one of Oprah's people, you know, with Dr. Phil and Susie Orman and all those, those people, and, um, and I love her because, along with little Savannah here, hold on, I should have gotten this out before, I love her, we'll see, we'll see if we can find it in here. Yeah. Because she she's doing what we're doing, right? She stepped out. She was a Harvard scholar. She she taught at Harvard. She taught at Thunderbird Business School. She was a professor professor of sociology. And what she realized is that every time she got in the car to drive to work, she got nauseous. She felt horrible. And she realized what her body was saying was that she was doing the wrong thing. And the crazy thing about your body is that your body gives you clues. Right? Your, your mind always plays tricks. Your mind is hooked into, they call it the, the, the lizard brain. Right? The lizard brain is what Ben was talking about, the, the, the fight or flight thing. Right? So the brain is always saying, Oh, don't take chances. Oh, you better not do that. Oh, be careful. Right? So your brain, your brain tells you lies all the time. But if you take the time to be quiet and listen to your body, your body will always tell you the truth. And for some people, it shows up like, you know, that little, that little thing in your stomach. You know, like, oh, gosh, that interaction really didn't feel that good. You get that tightness in your stomach, your queasiness, or tightness in your throat, or your palms start sweating. Your body always speaks the truth. And so the more you take the time, like Ben said, to tune in, to be quiet, to take, even like Heather said, to, to, to take a few deep breaths, to ground yourself, and to be aware, and really tune into what your body's saying, it will give you clues. 
And so what I've learned over the last eight months is how unbelievable our minds are. And if you don't take that time to ground yourself to be quiet every single day, then you don't have the ability to control your mind day to day. And so you become reactionary instead of being able to decipher how to uh, how to, to, re to react with forethought, right? So in, in spending the last eight months in this program, I've gotten how powerful our minds are and how it's not just about, oh, you know, thoughts or things. You know, it's not just that, but it's really about tuning into your true self. So we've been spoons. Have you ever tried to bend the spoon? Yeah. Not successfully, right? Right. So it's not about a power thing. If you you go home, get a crappy spoon. Don't use a good spoon. Get a crappy spoon, and just sit there and go, okay, I'm going to bend you. It's not going to bend. It will not bend. You cannot bend a spoon with power. You actually have to sit there. And be with the spoon. This sounds very woo. -woo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But you have to be with the spoon. You have to talk to it nicely. You know what? I get in my car sometimes and I go, You're so good to me. This car has never broken down. It like I get that this car loves me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So Is that much. weird? <laughs> but I get that like we are we work together, me and this car. That's how I that's how I deal with the spoon. The spoon you can't bend with force. You have to you have to you have to love it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, know, I, know. I actually was not even going to talk about this, but it's really I'm telling you. In between now and the next Super Saturday, you go home and you get a spoon and you start being with the spoon. <laughs> And you will find out because the spoon, you cannot power it. But if you're in the right place, the spoon will allow you to bend it. Am I right, Catherine? I recommend you go to the thrift store and buy a few. And then also, I've been yeah. serving ladle, serving spoons and everything. Yeah. It and is, it is, it, it, it will mo blow your mind. I am not kidding you. So, the pink sticky note. These are, I want you to write at the top of the pink sticky note, I give myself permission to. Trish, Trish, don't start crying. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I give myself permission to. Tom always knows, like, I, 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 I get all up here out, you know, woo -woo, and then he brings us back down to earth in a minute. But this is, this is the thing, is you guys are here. You're here not because, oh, I love the BTT. You know, we all love the BTT. You're here because you want to make a difference in your life and lives of others, right? So in hearing Scott, he, Scott said, I think he used the word permission at least three times this morning. Did, you, did anybody hear that? When he talked about give yourself permission, with the pictures of the there back on the wall, right? Um, so I want you to really think about it. You don't have to write it out right now. You can, you know, I mean, you might want to get quiet and, and really go inward and see what comes up for you. It may happen at 1 o'clock in the morning. It could happen at, at uh, you know, 3 o'clock this afternoon when you leave. But what are you willing to give yourself permission to do? And Gil said, Gil said, I give, my I give myself permission to build my own dream. You know, especially as women and, and moms and wives, there's, we spend so much time doing for others that a lot of times we don't focus on ourselves. What do you give yourself permission to do? Um, 
So I give myself permission to build my own dream, like Gil said. Um, I give myself permission to be geeky and cool like Ben. <laughs> <laughs> right? He, what is, he's, a, he's, a total, he's totally a geek. He is, he sits in the library and looks up crap. <laughs> right? He gets, a, he gets a charge out of that. That's who he is. But he is so cool. And you know why he's cool? Because he's passionate. He's passionate about what he's doing. Um, I give myself permission to be powerful and kind, like Scott. You know, there's, a, there's not a better speaker out there than Scott Pardulis. And what I love about Scott is that he is powerful. You can tell that. But you can also see his heart in what he says. And he's a, he's a master at using story to get people to relate to him. So I give myself permission to be powerful and kind like Scott. I give myself permission to be a total goofball like Tom. <laughs> you know what's great about Tom is we, we, go, we fly all over the country, right? We'll, we, we'll be in, in front of thousands of people. And they inevitably, people come up to us afterwards and they go, you know what, I can do this because I can be like Tom. Tom, Tom is the first one to say, I don't even know how to spell vitamin. You don't have to. People want to be around people who are fun. Bottom line, that's it. You know what, we spend our whole lives 40 hours a week or more, going to a job we hate, hanging out with people that we can't stand with a jackass <gasps> boss, right? For what? People want to be around people who are fun. I want to be around people who I want to go hang out and have a hamburger with. You get to build your business with these kind of people. And you get to make an incredible difference. We're not just selling, you know, a car. We get to make it, we get to change people's lives. Hmm. I get to, uh, I want to give myself permission to make people scholarship winners, yeah. like Gil said. Scholarship winners. That was a beautiful line. And I'm saving the last one because I know I'm going to get teared up. But I give myself permission to cry at nothing and everything like I at Margaret. Bring your life to the point of tears. And be off. Because you never give up on your family. And I have my sister here. I have my aunt here. I have my son here. My ex-husband was here earlier helping <laughs> set up. Think about that. What would your world look like if your family was here? If your ex-husband was here? If your ex-wife was here? If you could all come together in one room? People come to our Thanksgiving and our Christmas dinners, and it's everybody. It's my ex-husband. Sometimes he had girlfriends, sometimes he had a wife. <laughs> he had a dad from New York. My ex-father-in-law helped me make mashed potatoes one year. What would your world look like if everybody was here? What difference could we make? You know, they say, how can we have peace in the world if we can't have peace in our family? And it starts in, in this room right here. So, uh, you all have a pink permission slip. And you just keep adding to it. And it'll change. Stick it up on your desk. And look at it every day. And, uh, this is, you know, we have such an unbelievable opportunity as family here. And it's just, you know, this company, I have so much gratitude to Longevity, to, to the industry, network marketing, 
You know, we're, we're out there, like you say, network marketing. <laughs> you know, well, whatever. You know, if you don't see it, that's cool. There's plenty of other people that see it. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're not here on a dare. Nobody said, oh, I dare you to come to the Super Saturday. Although, you know what? People love dares. You go, oh, I dare you to come to the Super Saturday. They probably go, oh, okay, now I gotta go. <laughs> you can start daring people to come into your business and see what happens. Oh my God, I wasn't gonna sign up, and now I gotta sign up and dare you. <laughs> but, you know, we're all, we're all here because we wanna make a bigger difference in the world, in ourselves, and we can do it. And Lincoln Arms, um, Thanks for being here. I love you guys. All right.